Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, we are gonna test something. What is that something? That is a unitasker. A unitasker does one thing and one thing only. Where can you find unitaskers? Turn on your TV around 1231 at night and then you'll find a whole slew of them across the airwaves. This is gonna be a time battle. Ready? Six eggs versus six eggs. Unitasker versus traditional method. Now, what is that traditional method? We're gonna be separating egg yolks. We're gonna crack the egg. We're gonna use the shell to separate the yolk and the white. On this guy, we're gonna crack the egg, pour it in here. This little bowl is gonna separate the white out, and we're gonna take the yolk, and we're gonna dump it over here. Why do you wanna separate eggs in the first place? Whites for meringues, yolks for cooked custards, or if you live in Southern California, where yolks are pretty much a sin, you're gonna have egg white omelets for days. To be dead honest, I think that the traditional method is gonna win. Why? Because you have the hard edge to really get in there and actually force out the yolk from the white. This, you gotta kinda rely on gravity to kinda do the work for you. I think you're gonna have to be taking this thing up. You're gonna have to be moving it around and shaking it when you could just be already in the motion and doing it. Two things to consider on time. You're gonna have to find this in your drawer. It's under that other thing or that big bowl, maybe that bag of menus that you have in there or maybe the chopsticks that you decided to buy once for a noodle party that you've never used again. Um, that's where this is gonna be. I think that the factoring of the time of kind of finding it, cleaning it up, is really gonna pale in comparison to just doing it the right way. Let's get into it. Time on the clock, six eggs, six eggs. Let's do it. Oh geez, see this is already happening. It's not cutting out the egg. One. See how the whites are sticking in there? Depending on the size of your egg, this is gonna be taking, oh there we go, there we go, there we go. Speeding up, three, four. This little extra wiggle thing. Five, because honestly, if you don't do the wiggle, it's just gonna sit there forever. Come on, just being a little stubborn. And stop. Okay, that went a little bit better than I thought it would. Minute 49 seconds, it was relatively clean. It was pretty simple to do. Now I'm like nervous. If I mess one of these up, because you know when you're separating eggs and you kind of mess one up, I'm sunk. A minute and 49 seconds for six eggs. My hypothesis could have been off. Let's try to do this. The time we're trying to beat is a minute and 49 seconds. Here we go. Time on the clock starts now. One. Two. Oh, this egg crack is a little. Oh, we can save it. Three, four, five, six, stop. 55 seconds. The final conclusion, unitasker, one minute and 49 seconds. Traditional method, 56 seconds, with a grand total difference Winning traditional method of 53 seconds ahead of the unitasker. Now, there's a tiny bit of white in there. We dropped an egg yolk. All that could have been cleaned up, but I had 53 seconds to play with, which means kind of no matter how you cut it, this egg yolk separator at $7.54 is not worth it. Where'd it go? For more videos and product testing to figure out, is it worth it, click here. Aficionado, he's gonna walk us through and figure out his take on three machines that you can buy for home use. The first one we have here is one with an internal compressor. 